Hello everyone. Last class we had seen about definition of drug distribution method and different types of drug distribution method which are used in the inpatient as well as which are used in the outpatient department. Now let's see what are the different types of complete flow stock system. The first type which is used in complete flow stock system is charge flow stock where the charge to the patient is done after the administration. Drugs to be placed in the wards are detected decided by the PTC committee that is a pharmacy and therapeutic committee. The selected list is always reviewed by the PTC committee and for the necessary revision and the socio and economic condition of the patient should not be considered for the treatment or clinic or any clinical needs. The drugs which are listed in this uh, stock are antihistamines, antibiotics, anticoagulants, antihypertensive, cardiovascular drugs, diuretics, tranquilizers and miscellaneous. The second method is non-charge free floor stock drugs where uh, the charges are not directly to the patients. The drugs are predetermined. The distribution depends upon the printed list which spells out the name strength of the product and also the location on the ward or nursing station and the size of the unit. There are different methods which are used. First one is the drug basket method where the ninth nurse checks the drug inventories in the medicine uh, cabinet, the utility room as well as in the refrigerator. This check is against a master check which is given by the pharmacist to the nurse uh, who will go through all the drugs which are there in the nursing station. The nurse checks the quantity required for each drug on the requisition for supply. The empty container are placed in the basket where the pharmacist refills the drugs and puts them in the basket which is sent by the dump waiters. The main disadvantage here is nurse and not the pharmacist are responsible for checking and dispensing of the drugs to the patient. The advantage is it is time saving, makes pharmacist available on the spot for nurses, physicians as well as to the patients. The ward drug cabinet is supervised daily by the pharmacist and damaged, expired and even unapproved drug may, might be removed or it can be easily removed by the pharmacist. The second method which we use is mobile dispensing unit. The use of this system estimates the checking of all the drugs inventory and sending the empty containers to the pharmacy by the night nurse as in the drug basket method. The pharmacist uh, is of her helper drives the cart, takes the inventory to the from the nursing drug cabinet and chucks all the items and quantities of supplies left and replaced with the required quantity. Always a copy of requisition form for floor stock drugs is given to the nurse as a record of delivery and other is taken for the pharmacy for restocking the mobile unit for charging the patient and to determine the rate of consumption of drugs in the ward. The third method in drug distribution system is combination of individual drug order and the floor stock system. Many hospitals make use of both the methods for dispensing of the drug. The floor, is, the floor stock is limited and the system is modified to include the use of unit dose system. The fourth type of drug distribution system is unit dose dispensing. Here, these are the medications which are ordered, packed, handled, administered and charged in multiples of single dose units containing a predetermined amount of drug. The advantage of this method is, first one is the main thing is improved pharmaceutical services for 24 hours a day and are charged for only those doses which are administered to the patients. The second one is reduced medication errors by interpreting to the pharmacy and checking a copy of physician's order which is given by the physician. Duplication of orders and paperwork at the nursing area and at the pharmacy eliminates credits as well as uh, the revenue loss hence there is a accurate charging of the drug to the patient. Saves time for persons in the pharmacy, extends the pharmacy coverage and control throughout the hospital from the time the physician writes the order to the time patients receives the unit dose. 
Pharmacists can perform their uh, intended functions such as drug uh, consultants and helps them to provide a team effort which is needed for the patient, better patient care, improvement in communication of medication order and the delivery system. Thank you.